Hey, what's happening, you one, Sir James, coming at you guys with another video. In today's video, I have another video game haul to go ahead and share with you guys. And I have from different categories. I got a spot from GameStop. I also have three different hauls through OfferUp, which is an application that I use when selling and buying items. And of course, one item from the Salvation Army. I didn't think I was actually gonna have a haul video this time soon. I figured up the next one would have been more than likely after E3, but you know, you never know on a daily basis what will show up and what would interest you. So uh, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Starting off with the items from GameStop, I actually did pick up one of those, uh, an extra game stand. I showed it at one point on the channel, but it's actually right there. So the one that's very tall, they actually stack up to each other. So that's pretty neat. I just kind of wish that they had the other brand, which was uh, level up. Uh, but anyways, the first game on the list is Dragon's Crown Pro which was one of the newest titles that came out. Well, technically, it's not a new title specifically because the game originally came out on the PlayStation 3 and Vita. And uh, I can't remember if it was like 2012, 2013, give or take, because Atlas gave me uh, two review copies for both systems. And I decided to go ahead and pick this up on the PlayStation 4 because I absolutely love this game. So I decided to go ahead and support the developers because again, they gave me a free copy. So I figured I pay back by buying the PS4 version. But there it is. This is actually the Battle Hardened Edition. So it actually comes in a steel bookcase. And this is actually embossed on the front here. And of course you got the nice dragon on the back. But very cool. So if you have never played Dragon's Crown before, I definitely recommend it. If you have a PS3, you could actually find it for anywhere between uh, seven to $15 around there. Same thing for the Vita, so really cheap. Uh, if you're planning on getting it for the PS4, it's $50, just so you know. And the other one that I got here, I already have the game, but I didn't have the still book for it. And that, of course, is the still book for Assassin's Creed Origins. And this still book is absolutely beautiful. So really cool there. And, of course, a fun game. Let's see, next up is another... Pretty much RPG that I was searching for because if you guys recall, I've pretty much been getting a lot of RPGs recently, and these are games just I haven't played before and wanted to get because initially, pretty soon, I'm actually going to be in an RPG grind, so I have a lot of different games to go through. I got like at least I don't know 10 different RPGs that I need to play through because I haven't played them before. But this is one that I was also looking for. It was a little bit hard to find as well, but one finally did show up. And that, of course, is Blue Dragon. So I've heard really good things about it. And the art style, based on what I see here, actually looks very neat. So can't wait to play it. This was, I'm trying to remember, like $9 or $10, give or take. I think it was like $8 with a Rewards Pro member. Another one here, I don't normally see this with the case anymore, even though I have this on PC because anytime a Battlefield game comes out, my main choice for that platform is the PC copy, and then eventually I'll get the console copy because I like having extras. And that, of course, is Battlefield 2 Modern Combat for the Xbox 360. So yeah, I don't normally see one with the case appear, uh, even though this one's been through a little bit of abuse, but I think it kind of adds to the cover art. If you can see it there, it's kind of like chipped away a little bit. Another one is uh, Shell Shock 2 Blood Trials. I've played the first one on the original Xbox, but I've never played the second one. I don't know if this one's good or not. It was only a couple dollars, um, but there is that one. So I guess we'll see. If not, if it's not that good, I mean, again, two dollars. So. Next up is a game that I re-picked up because I played it back in the day, but when the new Battlefield came out, I ended up tra trading this one in. But I know there's a lot of people that still play it, and I figured, you know what? I want to go back and play it too. And that, of course, is the Battlefield Hardline. So there's that one. Again, a bit different from the traditional Battlefield games, but you know what? I'm excited for the reveal for the next Battlefield installment. That's going to be super good. Uh, next one is the Resident Evil 5. I was going to get the Gold Edition, but I couldn't find the Gold Edition, so I just got the regular one. I have not played Resident Evil 5, actually. I've played pretty much all the other ones, even 6, but never played this one. I think I I've only played the demo. That's really about it. 
And another one, unfortunately, this did not have its original case, but this is a game that I hardly see pop up anymore. And that is the Armored Core Verdict Day. And I do like me some Armored Core games. And that takes care, oh yeah, one other thing, I also picked up a hard drive for the Xbox 360 Slim. This is a 120 gigabyte, and you'll see why I picked this up in just a couple minutes. So next up, let's go ahead and get to the Salvation Army because it's only one item. And in the Salvation Army, I was basically trying to see if I could find any type of video game deals, maybe get lucky, because I've seen, I was watching like a bunch of different like creators on YouTube, whether they do like haul videos, whether it's dumpster diving or whether it's like yard sales and whatnot. And I've seen people get lucky in like thrift stores and Salvation Armies where they find like a PS2 for 10 bucks or something like that or some type of crazy deal. For the most part, I didn't find anything really good or exciting, but I did find at least one good thing. And that of course is a PlayStation 3 controller for only three dollars so uh, i did plug this in to make sure you know it does hold the charge it actually works it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit the joysticks are intact the only thing is that there was a chip right here on this uh i'm not sure how well you could see it but there's like a chip right there that's really about it i mean three dollars for a ps3 controller i'm happy with that because you go on ebay you find them for 20 30 GameStop I think is like 30 or 35 dollars pre-owned so nice to have that one they actually had three controllers but one of them was in pretty rough shape and the charging port looked jacked so I know I probably couldn't fix that and then the other one it was it wasn't too bad like the 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 grips on the joysticks were completely missing. So, I mean, in general, it probably would have needed two extra joysticks, but it just had a weird feeling. Like, it looked like it's been tossed to the ground type thing. So, it's like, I don't really want to waste $3 on something that I'm pretty sure is broken. But this one works, so I'm happy with that. Uh, next up, let's go ahead and get to offer up item number one. If you've never heard of offer up, again, this is not a paid sponsor, but just in case if you've always wanted to know what it is, it's basically an application uh, that you can download on your phone and you can basically see what people are selling around you within your area or even out of your area too. And of course, if you happen to have items for sale, you could put it on there. People will be able to see what you have for sale if interested. Then of course you can meet up in specific locations. I like to meet up publicly and uh, areas where there's plenty of cameras and witnesses where something were to happen, which I've never had any bad experiences. Um, but it's a really good. I've made a ton of sales doing it. And sometimes I'll buy different bundle deals to clean up and actually resell to flip it for a bundle. Like this one, for example, uh, I found a bundle for an original Xbox, came with a bunch of goodies in it, uh, controller, everything for $50. And then I basically made an offer of 40 because he, didn't, well, he wasn't firm on his price. He accepted the offer. And basically out of this entire bundle, there's only three things that I'm actually keeping for myself. The rest are being packaged with a couple of other items and I'm gonna flip it and I'm probably gonna at least make a 40 to $50 profit. So uh, that's always a good sign. But basically what did he have that I didn't already have? Well, first one is that this actually came with an arcade stick for the original Xbox, which I didn't know they had arcade sticks. I know they had like the dance mats from DDR, but that is pretty sweet. And this is actually fully functional. Fortunately, uh, I guess back in the day, they weren't like clicky. So that's a little bit on the downside. So not as exciting, but yeah, this actually works and it's pretty comfortable to use. So that was pretty neat. Something I don't normally see. And as for the stack of games, the uh, first two on here are what I'm going to keep for myself because I didn't have these already in my collection, even though I could have gotten them for like 10 bucks on the Xbox um, store. But I think, hey, this is a pretty good bundle and I'm going to make a profit out of it. So it's kind of a win-win for me. Um, but the games that this had is Star Wars Battlefront 2, which is backwards compatible with on the Xbox One. And of course, same thing for Ninja Gaiden Black. So those were the three that I'm keeping for myself. And these are just extras in which I already have. So, I mean, someone else is gonna be getting a nice bundle. And of course, along with a few other items. But this also had uh, Fable, which I love Fable 1 and 2. I didn't really like the third one. Uh, we also have Mortal Kombat. 
We have a different version of Need for Speed. Actually, I haven't seen it in this edition, but this is the Need for Speed Most Wanted Black Edition, which comes with like a bonus DVD. So I may put just the regular edition and I'll probably keep the black edition. But anyways, uh, next one is the Need for Speed Underground 2. Uh, speaking of Need for Speed, now wasn't Need for I can't remember if it was Burnout or Need for Speed. I think it was Burnout because uh, GameStop actually has a pro day today as I'm recording this video. But by the time it goes live, it's probably already over. But they had games like um, Persona 5 for like 25 bucks. They also had um, uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War or Mortar. What of the second one is called for like $10 as well. And then... Um, Persona 5 was 25. I'm not sure if I said 10. I can't remember what I just said. And then the other one was, uh, I think it was Burnout Paradise. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. It's like 40 bucks, but they had that on sale for 20, which I'm actually going to wait on that one. Uh, the other game in this collection is the Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring. I've actually never played the Fellowship of the Ring. I have it in my collection. just never played the first one on the uh, OG systems. I have played the second, and I love the third one. Then, of course, we have the Nightmare Before Christmas. Along with Aragon. And, let's see, we also have the Monster Garage. Followed by the uh, Midtown Madness 3, which is only on the Xbox. So, Xbox exclusive. So, those were the games on that one. And of course it came with the system and all the power cords and it came with one controller. And the good thing is I don't really have to do any repairs on this one, which is nice because normally when you see a, I guess it depends on your area. For my area, every time I see a pre-owned original Xbox, usually one of the things that people listed is that the disc tray isn't working properly. And that tends to be a common issue with the original Xbox where the, uh, the rubber band in the disc tray just isn't gripping correctly to the point where the disc tray just doesn't come out all the way. So it would have to like put a little uh, pin in there just to get it out. But thankfully enough, uh, the disc tray is fully functional. The system works nice. It just needs to be taken apart and do a deeper cleaning. And then of course, uh, clean up the top here as well because there's a lot of dust in the cracks and crevices here. And then of course I could put a nice bundle together and again, make about 30, $40 profit. So it's a win for me. Uh, the other item that I got, which is, I'm not going to use it for resale, I'm just going to keep it. It was a 4 gig Xbox 360 that someone was selling, and the person was asking 30. I made an offer of 25. I don't tend to go low off, it's a really good deal, but you, you never know. You know, if you could save a few dollars, I bet you would. So, uh, again, made an offer of $25, the person accepted. And um, here it is. The system itself actually does work just fine. The power supply, when it first turns on, the power supply kind of makes a weird type noise, but then like after a minute, it tends to go away. So more than likely, I'll probably need to replace the power supply. So I get that's not a big deal because I could find them for pretty cheap. And then that's why I got the uh, hard drive over at GameStop. Again, this is 120 gigs. So that means I could just take this off which is now sticking to my hand and then uh, of course pop this out which I don't have any fingernails there you go of course pop this in here and voila it's no longer a 4 gig console so now that is good to go Now the last item is something I was actually happy to find because it's something that I actually already own, but I had plans on getting another one. And the item in question is called the PlayStation 3D Display Monitor. I actually got it back in 2014, 2015, somewhere around there as a refurbished unit on Newegg. I actually have an old unboxing video of that, which I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. So here it is. Uh, this is the PlayStation 3D display monitor. I was gonna have it hooked up, but it's like, then I had like everything else on the table. But this is a fantastic monitor. If you have products running at 1080p 
whether it's your old system or even even PS4 or Xbox One. I mean, those don't matter as well. But this is a great display monitor. And I just like the overall shape of it. The speakers built into it are actually decent. And the picture quality is just absolutely amazing. Like I said, I was gonna order another one, but I managed to save a lot of money because the person had it listed on OfferUp for $100. And I made an offer of 60. I mean, I was gonna do 80, but I took a shot in the dark at 60 because the person could say no. And then I could just go up from there until they say yes but the person agreed to 60. It's in mint condition. There's like a little mark on this. Well, you can't really see it because it's all in black. It's really hard to show it because then the autofocus would just go crazy. But there's just a little tiny mark over here on the speaker portion, but that's about it. Screen is perfectly fine. No dead pixels, no issues with um, the light or anything. So I was truly happy about that one because instead of spending $124 again, I only spent basically half the cost. So again, I can't complain about that. And that's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Did you guys go to the GameStop Pro Day? And of course, did you uh, basically find anything good? I know someone mentioned they got the uh, Burnout Paradise. And I'm trying to remember what else. Let's see, oh yeah, I saw Deadpool 2, by the way. Deadpool 2, awesome film recommend I actually like deadpool 2 more than i like the first one and i like the first one so uh that's again from my perspective and um i guess the other thing too i'm not sure if you guys heard of this but apparently uh best buys gamer club membership whatever it's called i've never really got into it because i don't like my local best buy to be honest um, but apparently their membership is ending so i I was pretty shocked about that because every time I go like on Facebook and there's a GameStop post, everyone's like, oh, I get to save more if I go to Best Buy. I get 20% off new games or we're going to pre-order, yada, yada, yada. But it's like, yeah, apparently it's it's actually real. Their membership thing is ending or I'm not sure if they're transferring it to something new. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? But until then, I'll see you guys next time. I just need to figure out what RPG I'm going to play after I grind out a little bit more on the Destiny Warmind DLC, which... It's okay. Like I said, there's still a lot of in-game stuff to do, so at least I have something to do. And But yeah, I just don't have anyone to play it with. Actually, I have one person to play it with, so uh, that's always fun, I guess. I mean, if you're playing it solo, it's not as exciting anymore. But until then, I'll see you guys on the next video.